by tomorrow morning to avoid a headache that I'll never get, I drink a shot of vodka. No! <laughs> an Irish coffee is not a shot of vodka. It's a yeah, it bit of alcohol in a coffee. I gotta go to sleep. Good night. Alright, see Good night, Penguin. Uh, oh, I got another break. file. Let's see what the file is gonna be. All right, Basically break. Using Here's... a small amount of alcohol mixed with coffee to make sure you do not get the hangover headache. That's what Irish coffee is. What is? Uh. What is SCP six sixty? Say six six eight. No six six zero. Six six zero. Anyway, six six zero is an irregular earth earthware jar, roughly twenty three centimeters in height and diameter. Diam. Uh, it's a safe class uh, SCP. Oh, okay, so it's not dangerous. Anyway. It's capable of identifying, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, it's capable of indefinitely preserving all biological mm. tissue placed within it, regardless of external conditions or state of sample, until tissues mm. are removed. Living tissue will remain viable and living organs will remain alive, even when deprived of sustenance for extended periods of time. When the exact mechanism responsible for this is uncertain, yeah. Looks like so basically, we'll... oh. you put shit in this jar and it will keep it good until it's removed. Well, it looks like I won't be doing uh, a, a video of this SCP because it's done. Oh. oh. SCP-143. 143-1. Yeah. Well, it's obviously a Japanese... Oh, it's a Bladewood Grove. Isn't that what the one where the leaves are literal blades? So I remember that being in Minecraft. Like... Oh, one three. The Bladewood Grove, it is Euclid, alive, arboreal, event-featured, plant. Oh, wait, I just see the descriptions right over here. <laughs> yeah, care must be taken when holding the, pe uh, holding the petals as the edges are razor sharp and can easily slice, slice through flesh if mishandled. Okay, so I did remember it clearly. Three is a plantation of 300 specimens of unique types of trees. They all look similar to Japanese sakura cherry blossom trees. They bear no fruit, which sakura cherry blossom trees don't bear fruit anyway because that's how they're bred. And uh, the only known way of reproduction is by careful own root protogen pro using cuts, sample saplings from an older sample. Oh. So basically, the only way to make more of these trees is to cut a sample from one of the older trees and plant it. Damn. Alright, next SCP. <laughs> what? I already see... <laughs> A bunch of things. SCP-261. Description. SCP-261 appears to be a large black vending machine. Oh, it's a vending machine. Some vending machine. Currently, SCP-261 may be used only 10 times in a 24-hour period with no trans... Section exceeding the equivalent of 500 Japanese yen. Which is, I don't know how many in American money. Mm. 
you can always look up a conversion rate. And yen is about one cent, so it's about. Being heard. Yeah. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, yen is one cent. Right, so it's about five dollars. Oh, actually, one Japanese yen is equal to 0 0.0069 of a United States dollar. Oh, we're, we kind of suck in comparison, don't we? It is $3.46 for 500 yen. You do the one question. Damn. So it's less than five dollars. No task. All right. I'm an expert person. So it's five minutes to four o'clock now. Just about ready. Gents, you're not coming. Nah. Yes. Doesn't suit me. What are you talking about? Hi, Carl. We're going to attend a monthly lecture. Monthly lecture? Each month, the Foundation invites someone famous to hold a lecture to share new knowledge and insights pertaining to SCP. First month's lecture, they invited Dr. Trevor. He holds a high reputation in the Foundation. Interesting. Count me in. And it's... I'll send you the link to the monthly lecture in just a sec. Alright. Well, now we go to the training system. <gasps> yeah! SCP-1762! If I'm already correct, this That's is... The... He, I think this is Here Be Dragons. I think so. Um... Now I'm excited. Yeah, it's your B dragons, you're right. Yeah. Oh. There are many stories in this world. Some are read widely all over the world. Some are hidden in dust and known only by a handful of people. This voice actor is really Today, good. Today I'm going to tell you a story no one else has heard before. A real story of mystery and wonder I'll and back. adventure I'm gonna... and then right. you too will become the guardian of this that story has already, probably already been finished. the story takes place in a world of long ago the hero of our story is a little boy his name is Daniel this actually sounds like a person reading a story this voice actor is really good one day out of nowhere Daniel got a serious case of chicken pox. It oh. made him look like a strawberry. <laughs> to make sure he didn't spread it to others, Mrs. Page, the principal, had him isolate in an attic. What the fuck? And so, in the attic he lived, all on his own. Mr. Daniel. Plenty of time to practice your penny whistle. I hope you practice well and prepare for next month's art festival. Why is music so much louder? The melody is so difficult. Don't give up, boy. You don't give up before you fight. Okay, can I actually change the music audio? Background volume. Let's change that down a bit. That was a lot louder.
Nathaniel was reluctant at first, but he trusted Mrs. Page, and he knew he should listen. And so he practiced the penny whistle. Oh no! 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 <laughs> Why? <laughs> you ready I for a rhythm game, right? No. I am terrible at rhythm games. Fuck! Damn, Guitar Hero's really gone downhill. Fuck. Suddenly, he heard some strange noises in the corner of the attic. Huh? Who's there? Damn it. Daniel decided to go over and take a look. I am terrible at rhythm games. I take my eyes off the road for one fucking second and I run over some oh. random civilian. Now I can explore. A mouse trap, what happens and when you're a like driving past paper dragon inside mm -hmm. of it? Daniel carefully removed it. It was marvelous and beautiful. The only problem was part of its wing was damaged. But Daniel found a way to repair it. What the fuck? Choose items to repair to Paper Dragon. A step one stapler. <laughs> Daniel held the repaired Paper Dragon high, high up in the air, imagining that it soared over all the world below. He played and played with the Paper Dragon. Afternoon Not sun, voice Daniel had to fight his yeah. eyelids just to keep them open. Is it could it be? Or is this all just a dream? The next day, with boredom and loneliness weighing him down, he began to fiddle with the old radio. Thanks for that information. Okay, so you a don't live in, ball in California. Over to his feet. Where did this paper ball come from? Just as Daniel went to pick it up, the ball suddenly came to life, and it rolled away. Daniel chased after it. Wait, if I remember this, this is a lecture. Someone is reading this as a lecture. Okay. It, it picked me up. I can't be a little shit. Gotcha. Just as he was about to seize the rolling paper ball. Suddenly, terrible sparks erupted from it. Before his very eyes, the paper ball began to grow. Bigger and bigger. <laughs> At that moment, a red figure suddenly appeared. The red figure quickly subdued the paper ball and threw it into a cardboard box. Daniel studied the red figure carefully. The music and voice acting right now is really good. 
It had a sticker on its fluttering wing. It was the paper dragon. I wasn't dreaming. Thank you for saving me. Daniel was grateful and very happy. He walked closer to the paper dragon, but the paper dragon seemed timid and afraid and backed away. Just then, Daniel had an idea. Oh no. He took out his penny whistle and slowly played a tune. No! <laughs> I gotta beat my total score. Fuck! 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 Damn it, I keep hitting the wrong keys. Not good at this game. enjoyed the sound very much. It began to move along with the rhythm, flipping up and down in the air. Soon the two were playing and dancing, just like old friends. The paper dragon traced out a beautiful arc in the air communicating with Daniel in a unique way. My cherished friend, after many long years, we finally meet again. Tell me, how has your family been? A great thank you for playing that music for me. As the room is not stable. Do you still remember how the room works? You're welcome to visit any time. The piece of paper then changed back into the shape of a paper dragon and flew into the cardboard box. The box closed shut and a calm silence was restored to the attic. Daniel rushed to find a watercolor pen and marked the box with excitement in his fingertips. Over the next few days, the paper dragon came out often to play with Daniel. During this time, Daniel introduced many of his friends to the paper dragon. flapped its wings, as if it didn't understand him. Hmm. Well, since you like the sound of the penny whistle so much, why don't I just call you Penny? I'll keep practicing to make you sound better. Uh, good luck, cause Daniel I'm not gonna get better. They played shit. baseball together Bat in the attic. There, kid. Let's play cat. Unfortunately, you're but a simulation, and you're controlled by a dumbass. Oh, this is cute. Aww. This is so cute! Full paper dragon. Is, is this 
Just as they were in the middle of enjoying themselves, a violent shaking suddenly rose from the ground. At this moment, the box suddenly shot open, and thick clouds of smoke billowed out, followed by several paper balls. Sorry, I got asked. Did that cat just get beamed with a baseball? I <laughs> think so. The paper balls without a moment's hesitation, and promptly threw them back into the box. Penny then flew around in front of Daniel and rushed right back into the box. As the box closed, the earthquake stopped. Facing a friend's farewell without a formal goodbye, Daniel felt confused and lost. He moved the box to the center of the attic. Facing it, he practiced his penny whistle day in and day out. As the days went by, Daniel's playing became smoother. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but I'm not going to get any One better. Day, the box suddenly began to move. Uh -huh. One, I'll go out two, three, four. This time there were don't, four don't paper dragons. Don't play it like that. Don't play it like that. But they weren't alone. Enemies began to jump out of the box too. small attic, the four paper dragons fought fiercely against the paper balls. This time, the paper balls used new tactics. They came together into a single monstrous ball of paper. They began to shoot strong bursts of electric sparks at the paper dragons as they flew through the air. As they were hit, the paper dragons fell from the air, one after the other. monstrous paper ball. And then came another paper dragon. The monstrous paper ball was plastic to bits, exploding into smaller paper balls. Trembling, they struggled to escape back into the box. The sacrificed paper dragons were reduced to swirling shreds of paper and a silence pervaded. Peace and tranquility were restored once again to the attic. Daniel saw the remaining two paper dragons lying on the floor, badly wounded. He rushed to grab some stickers and treated them at once. Suddenly, countless paper dragons began to gush from the box. The two wounded paper dragons were repaired and began to fly. Like two colored threads, they merged with the other dragons, flying in unison. The dragons moved like a tide, flying freely through the attic. Daniel eagerly took out his penny whistle. He showed all his paper dragon friends the results of his hard work and practice. No!
those are at the same time. That's not fair. turned it down, but I guess not. Uh, I said I wasn't going to get any better. In the sweet melody of his playing, Daniel felt himself enter into the world of dragons. Dragons merged into a long letter and floated down towards Daniel to tell their story. After the last war, the fantasy world enjoyed a long spell of peace and stability. But now, the giants have returned. They have launched ferocious attacks, trying to invade your world. the final defense, then we will have to destroy your room, for it is the last remaining entryway into your world. Please believe, this farewell will only be temporary. We will not be apart forever, and we will never forget our eternal mission of protecting you. Oh. At that moment, the paper dragons flew back into the box. Daniel still couldn't fully understand what the paper dragons had meant, but he had a vague feeling in his heart that he may never see his new friends again. A few days later, Daniel's chicken pox had fully recovered. He could now play the penny whistle very, very well. But the paper dragons never returned. Maybe it was time to leave and move on. I mean, I know that's what happened, but can you... Earthquake warning! Magnitude 6.2! A massive earthquake is hitting our town! All townspeople, please leave your houses immediately and move to safe open spaces! Just then, countless paper dragons shot from the cardboard box. However, it seemed like they were under attack, spinning and falling through the air in confusion. Daniel quickly grabbed the stickers out from his back and did his best to get injured with the dragons. You will be healed by my hand. I am now 049. You will be healed. Ah. Oh, shit. 
shit. The balls swarm together and push Daniel away. He's doing it firmly in the corner. He couldn't move. into the giant. Daniel thought the giant had been defeated by the paper dragons. But soon, he found that things would probably not be so simple. The giant's figure could still be seen in thick smoke. But he became terrible. The attacks of the paper dragons had had no effect, and the giant had only grown stronger. New ferocity. The paper dragons were simply no match for it. With the paper dragons now all but defeated, Daniel spotted a frail figure in the distance. It was Penny. It flew gently in front of Daniel and affectionately rubbed its head against his fingers as if this whole crisis had never happened. Oh. Daniel felt like Penny was trying to tell him something, but he didn't quite understand what. Penny then left him and soared into the air with a determination in its wings. Suddenly, oh, no. the other paper dragons seemed to be summoned. They flew through the air, all together in unison, responding to the call without oh, an no. ounce of hesitation. Goodbye, Penny. At that moment, Penny turned into a great red moon and rushed fast towards the giant. The other dragons followed, shining together like a shooting star. Daniel seemed to see a real dragon fly. No! The huge explosion from the impact drowned out everything else in the attic. The attic rained down with countless pieces of paper the leftover scraps of the paper dragons. Daniel wanted to collect all of the pieces. He thought he could still fix them. Ah, uh, I gotta put down some. Achievement unlocked, a touching story.
okay if I tell the game to fuck itself? Maybe. This is a good game so far, but fuck later, the game. <laughs> the art festival was held as scheduled. Daniel not attended better. the show with his penny whistle. Oh no. Please don't. And now, Daniel Trevor will perform a penny whistle solo of a song titled Fly With Me. Please. He took the corpse of his best friend with him. <sighs> no! This is going to be a sad song. I know it. Just the same song? Fuck. You're on stage. Doesn't make it any easier. Actually, Look, doesn't right. that typically make people joke more on their performances? <laughs> right. Look, happy memories about the dead dragon. I hate Did you. you. Really say that? <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> not dragons. Right, look at all the dead dragons flying around. Oh, that's cold. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. Wait, you're hallucinating dead dragons. <laughs> Take therapy. Then she died. And that's how the story ends. Now, you might be wondering, what happened next? Are there still paper dragons in the world? Well, that's a difficult question to answer. But Jesus, the music's loud. That they are still protecting us somewhere in this world, just like they promised they would forever into eternity. They're all dead. They're all dead. It's sad. Hey, Bright. Did you what? see all those dead dragons? Okay, speaking of dead dragons, I just got an achievement called Here Were Dragons. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> That's not okay. Wait, is, is there a way to is there a way to get a like ending where they aren't dead? No. 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 They're canonically oh. dead. Uh, Stuart, Dragon Sword. What lovely paper dragons. I love them so much. Me too. But what happened to the cute little ones? SCB 1762 is now being attained at Re Real Aquaria Research Institute where Dr. Daniel. The Super Resident Director of the Code War Box has remained silent. How do you know all this, gent? I thought you didn't attend a monthly lecture. <laughs> Under the direction of Dr. Trevor, gent spent two years researching SCB 1762, so he knows far more than we do. Wow. Hey, I told you all that that particular SP didn't suit me. Oh, come on, gent. But really, imagining you tidying up files and piles of cute little fairy books is kind of adorable. Enough already. I'm getting back to work, but I'm going to stress the point again. That particular SCP did not suit me. I've been here for a month now, and I've been entirely just to the oh. job. Though the content of my work is simply to process archive files, it is work that will never bore me. A few absurd jokes aside, most of the archives are really rather fascinating. I have been having hallucinations lately, 
feel like someone is calling me, a voice slow and uncertain. They seem to be trying to communicate with me, but I cannot understand a single word they say. In fact, I had planned on seeing a doctor, but Zoe told me it was the typical rookie syndrome. It would clear up in a few days. I certainly hope that is the case. Wait. Wait. It's... Is here be dragons trying to speak? No, no, it's been happening in the game before, way before they put the uh, here be dragon story. It's been happening since the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. Subjens? Fuck you. Yeah. No one likes Gent. <laughs> doesn't like gentle. 